Quickly before we get started in this video, I just want to let you guys know that apparently half of my viewers aren't subscribed. So make sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much. Now let's get into the video. Yo yeah, guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I am going to be bringing you a very kind of exciting video. So you would have seen a couple days ago you saw my daycare Roblox story video and today I'm basically going to be taking you through how I edited that video or basically showing you me editing that actual video. So as you can see on my screen I am on my desktop and uh, I suppose without further ado let's get into editing this video so I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos together so I have all of the files on my computer that I need to edit this video together hopefully so I have an intro outro I have the proper recording so the actual video I have my face cam files and I also have my audio file which is my voice um, the audio file does not consist of the game audio that's on actually on the proper recording file so yeah so let's click after Premiere Pro decides to load up it does take some time to load up unfortunately so we get the welcome thing so let's create a new project and just call it uh, daycare story edit I think and then save that in the location that is the load that is the where I store my files so as you can see I have a load of things on my computer so yeah let's go to daycare story there we go so this is this video is basically just an insight as to how I edit my videos really and I know that uh, some of you guys may take this as a kind of guide on how to edit videos I know that most of you guys don't have Premiere Pro but I'm just going to show you because you might uh, know some you might get a few tips on how to edit stuff that you may have not known you can probably import some of those tips into your own edits so let's go to where I store my intros and outros so I have a full intro and outro so let's import those into the project bin down here and let's go and import my actual files and because when well, I just try and see around the flip screen of my face cam uh, these are all of my files so I have a audio and then the proper audio and then the proper um, gameplay actually and then three audio files because weirdly when I record uh, using my camera uh, every 10 minutes or so it decides to split the video and the reason why I record my audio separately and not just using the mic off my camcorder A is because it's not that good quality I mean it's okay for vlogs and stuff um, and for doing like update videos and also it cuts out as well like when it splits the file and you'll see what I mean when I show you. So let's start by importing my intro as you can see here and usually I have to move the audio track onto track 3 and also the uh, video track onto track 3 as the face cam will go on the second track and the actual gameplay video will go on the first track. So let me just import, import the uh, actual video track which is here. I'm just gonna open those a bit more so I can see the actual audio wave lines so now let's get my face cam things in as well so I have three files as I said so um, luckily they're kind of named with uh, with digits so I can just see which the which number the first one is and then count up the through the different files and I also actually need to put those onto a third track or well, the audio, I didn't need to do that with the audio track, uh, with the video track, uh, sorry. And let's also import my audio, there we go. So now I have my uh, three video tracks and three audio tracks. It will be shortened down to two audio tracks and three video tracks. So once these three kind of, um, you know, get confirmed with the audio stuff, I should be able to see the sound waves and it should be easy. And I also have my outro here as well. And let me just show you a few things with the audio because as you can see, if I go to like there, you can see that this is just green. And I have a I have a preset, um, which is just a, an ultra key on Premiere Pro. And I just drag and drop that and it removes the green screen. Because if you saw from the, from the intro of this track, 
the kind of like uh, intro kind of like swipe like that and then I was here. And basically removing the green off the intro allows you to see me. Because I will be making these three files go underneath this one. Making the green will be removed and anything underneath that track will be shown. So it's what a green screen is basically. And I also have the same thing with my outro. However, with my outro, it's purple. Because if I go too further on in the timeline, you can see this is my outro. You will see this at the end of this video as well. Um, the background is slightly green. And what I did do before was use that green in order to key it out. But then that also keyed that out a little bit. So I had to completely change the intro color to be whatever I want it to be. Um, that's not really similar to any of these colors so i just decided to go with purple as that's really no colors that show in my outro so hopefully all of our three tracks have been confirmed i mean not full actually yes they have full so yeah now i need to uh, sync the audios up so what i do at the start of my videos is i just say test click and then uh when I, the click sound is where i kind of cut the cut the video in order to get these sounds in sync. So let's go and cut, uh, go and split my track there. And I can go ahead and delete that. To get the uh, razor tool, which is why I used to split the track, I press C on my keyboard and then V to uh, go back to the selecting tool. And I also use the A tool, which is uh, V tool. It's not called the A tool, I press A. It's the track select forward tool. And I think there's also a backward tool as well. So I use that as well. So yeah, you can see, or here I said test. So let's go and split the track here. Sometimes it's not like fully in sync, but that doesn't really matter as it's kind of similar. Like as long as it's kind of in sync, then I don't mind. So let's move the audio track that way and also go to where we have a separation of this track. And this is what I mean by the sound going out of sync. So just listen to this. The most obvious answer is Lily is the mon- Okay, um, actually we we will, uh, let me just turn this down quickly because it is actually quite loud. Um, I usually keep my headphones at like 30, but yeah, uh, let's listen to this now and mute this track. So this is what it sounds like. I mean, the most obvious answer is Lily is the monster. So you can hear like the audio kind of cuts out. Um, so that is why I record my video separate so you don't hear that. So once I finish getting the audio in sync and everything, I delete the audio tracks off my camcorder. Uh, and it's really easy to do that. So let's go and make this file in sync as well. So I need to get the click, the, uh, click thing. Okay, it's there. So let's zoom in on the timeline so I can go and separate that. There we go. Did I just say that we have three audio tracks, like at the start? I apologize, we only have two. So now that everything is now in sync, I can go ahead and select the my face cam tools and click unlink. And, that bas and then that basically means I can mess around with all of these different tracks, um, well, separately, rather than having them as one big file. So let's go ahead and select all of my audio tracks from my camcorder and go ahead and delete those. So now let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to select, I'm going to go ahead and cut the intro. So this is what the intro looks like without any filters. Quickly before we get started in so this obviously video, I, I just want to let you guys know because, that yeah, most of, of, of you aren't subscribed, so yeah. So make sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much. Now let's get into the video. And then as you can see, there's my intro. And that's the green that will eventually become my will eventually become my video. So I have a little bit of like a funny story for when I edit it, for when I started to use that intro. The actual sound of the original intro, which is now lo no longer stored on my computer, was kind of a little I don't know like less quality. So each video I had to keep importing. Uh, I had to keep importing the actual song of that, which again is no longer stored on my computer. And what I did is I effectively, in a new project, just completely made the, a new intro. So with this whole green screen thing, the intro and the song. So then I no longer had to import like three files 
all the time into my project. I just created one file, which was just my intro. And I just, you know, made the green screen. So now I have a, I have a filter down here called intro remove green. Um, before that, I need to split where this, um, where the green starts coming onto the frame. So I'd say it's about there. And the way I can scrub through frames is pressing the arrow keys on my keyboard. So let's go to the intro remove green and then that'll basically remove the green and anything that's below that track will show. At the moment it's black because at the moment we don't have anything down there. So let's go ahead and select all of this stuff and then let's move that back to here. And now you can see there is a very drunk looking fetch actually. <laughs> um, so we, I start talking here and that's where we'll uh, split the track and where the video will start. And as you can see, this is the uh, this is the outro down here. And we'll do the same thing with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and select for where the um, the thing started to drop, or there, I think. And I basically have a preset that's uh, the outline, yeah, outro remove purple, and basically that will become black as well because there's nothing on that track. And now we need to go ahead and make these go like that. And that'll be ready to edit when we come to the out to, for when we come to the um, ending of the video. So now let's go back to the start and edit the actual video. Um, Cause I like to go in linear fashion. I don't like to go in non-linear fashion, even though you can do that by like starting, I don't know in the middle, if there's something funny in the video that you want to do first and then go back to the start. Um, or if you just want to import like different files that are supposed to come on uh, that you probably recorded later on in the day and you want to import it um, for like even if you want to import it at the start then you can also do that but I just like to go through it in a linear fashion. So let's go ahead and split my track there and delete those files and now we just need to collect all of these tracks again and move those to there. And then the preset that I use, which was the intro thing, is basically just an ultra key, as I said, that removes the green. If I didn't have that active, it'll just be that. But because I have uh, it to remove the green, I can, you know, see all of this below the track. If this is making any sense, I do not know. So that is now my intro complete. Now I need to figure out audio levels. So this might be with the time where I have to stop talking and just make sure that all of the audio levels are fine. Yo guys, Features Gaming here. So as you can hear, I feel for me that my voice is a bit too low. So I'm going to go ahead and boost the audio by 5 decibels to the current audio, which should make it quite, which should make it nice. Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to it. And I think that works. And I feel that the daycare audio is actually slightly not, is slightly uh, high, too high for me. So I'm going to go ahead and minus that by five decibels and this is really trial and error i don't really know which um i don't i don't really know if that will do it i kind of guess but normally it's not correct so i have to keep going through and checking that uh, it's it sounds all right yo guys features gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are going to be playing daycare story <laughs> <laughs> and I just forgot the name, but then I just looked at my notepad and it was Daycare Story, so yeah. Okay, so that seems fine. What I might do is I might actually make the uh, make this audio track muted um, until I show the screen. Because as you saw at the start of the video, I just had my face cam and then I switched, basically. I switched from just my face cam to the, um, to the uh, well... So you can see the screen. So I need to listen back to where, to when I did that. Another video here on the channel, and today we are going to be playing day. So when I announce the game, that's where I'm going to split. Uh, that's where I'm going to cut the this track, and then I also have a another thing which is proper 2020 face cam posi position. And what that basically does is makes my face cam go there. And from when I've been editing previous videos. It feels a bit too big now, so what I might do is just go ahead and um, downscale it by probably 25% um, as opposed to 100 and then make sure that it lines up with the 
with my with my canvas basically. So if I go ahead and line that up, so that should be good. And I sometimes I get those audios. I just looked at my notepad and it was daycare story. So yeah, I've got the next. So now what I might do is split the audio track there and lower that. And let's see how the how this sounds. Yo guys, Features Gaming here, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are going to be playing Daycare Story. <laughs> and I think that sounds alright. I so. just forgot the name, but then I just looked at my notepad and it was Daycare. Now, now sounding it, I think this audio track is probably a bit too quiet now that I think of it. So I'm probably going to up it by three decibels, so then it'll be minus two decibels overall. And let's listen to this. Daycare story. <laughs> and I just forgot the name, but then I just looked at my note. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds fine. I think that should be good. And basically what I do is I watch my entire video editing it. So what I might do is I'll go to, I'll go to Speedy Features Gaming. Um, and uh, basically I'll pick up with you guys when I have something interesting that I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so here I found a place where I don't talk, and what I'm basically going to do is cut that bit out so it doesn't make it um, like terribly boring for you guys. So what I do is I basically just find where I want to cut the video from, and then where I want the video to resume, and then I basically just select all of that and delete that, and then I ripple delete, meaning that all the files further on from that basically come uh, basically come back to back with the split. And then that basically means I can jump between these. Let's get ready to do this. Okay, like so, I've been so um, a jump cut is what it's known in editing, where it jumps from one scene to another, even though this is effectively the same scene, but it's just jump cutting to another thing. Okay, so this is probably another thing where I want to like jump into my face cam for like a little comedy thing, even though it probably won't be funny. But uh, basically, I was driving a little bit to the music that was in the background, and what I want to do is just have my face cam on the screen. Um, so I need to try and edit this together. Okay. Oh, this. Okay. So I might have it when I start talking. Okay. Oh, this is good. And then when I start talking, and then when I start talking about the things at the bottom, that's where I'll split it. And then here, basically all I have to do is click this reset effect. And basically what that means is that it will reset the thing completely and it will just leave me with my face cam on the screen. So then basically this is now what it looks like if it wants to play. Okay. Oh, this is good. Welcome in. And that's basically how I can jump into my face cam like this. So you can now just see me. And then I just basically... When I undo the, or when I, the like the second cut, um, so now you can see the um, the Premiere screen thing, uh, screen thing. And what I would have done there is cut from where I said that, and then reset it. If that makes any sense. But let's just get to editing the rest of the video. Okay, so what I've done here is I've basically done the exact same thing where I zoom into my face for like when I dive to the music and because there was quite a lot of background noise and I wasn't really talking is I just basically deleted the audio track and I've also uh, made the volume of the music a bit louder um, just so you guys can hear it and just zoomed into my face so it looks like this uh, after I finish the, the, the edit. Feel free to explore. 
Which is a bit laggy. Right, let explore. me redo that. I love this music actually. <laughs> There's a football. And that's basically what it looks like. So now let's get into editing the rest of the video. As I've been editing this video, I, I think that the audio track is now getting a bit too loud, so I'm going to uh, probably lower it down by 3 decibels, so it's only um, up uh, by 2 decibels. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not and that sounds be, a lot I'm better, I think. Be Let's continue editing. Okay, so here's okay. when the audio starts to get a little bit louder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the video track here and then go to basically the end of where the audio then goes back to the low point and then basically lower that audio because, I mean, I want to keep it the same audio level so then when you guys go and play it, you'll know if the audio will be loud or not. But for me, I don't want it to be just like one big, you know, like, sound file I want it to be split so I can still keep the same audio levels that's what I prefer I mean if you guys want me to you know like keep the same audio level for like the entire track uh, then let me know in the comments below it just means that at some point throughout the video it may be a little bit loud and it may be a little bit loud and the game audio might overlap the uh, my voice audio but yeah let me go let me let me know what you would like to what you would like me to do Oh god. Oh we have something like that in vacation story or whatever it was. Oh man. Oh it's coming inside. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it might be that the loud noises ends and then um occurs. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do. So this is where the first part ends. And then I'm probably going to lower this by minus 5 decibels. And then this should be uh, a, a good level. Oh man. Oh, it's coming inside. Oh no. And that okay. seems okay, so I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, so I've just thought of probably adding some text in here because I was basically saying about the jump scare that was happening in Vacation Story and the other game was, I think it was Aeroplane Story and that was where the jump scare actually occurred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text layer. Now these could get confusing but I'm going to talk you through everything I do to do them. So now I need to try and find out where I want the text layer to start. Well, I think it was just Vacation Story. So I wanted to start here. So now I need to go back to my project bin and click on this icon right here, which is a new item. And then it's title. And then this basically brings up a new title and this is basically a new layer. So I, I don't really rename it. I just name it title one. And then this is basically where I can edit all of my properties. So let me just move it over here. So then I have space for my face cam to go. So I, need, I, I normally go with the birch white font. I don't know why. 
Um, so just make sure that's selected, then click anywhere on the screen. And then I just type what I want. So it's called Aeroplane Story. I believe it's spelled like that. Um, and now I need to resize it. So I could just click and drag this to, you know, get it to where I want it to be. Let me just make sure that is the correct spelling because I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, yes it is, that's good, right. Thank you iPad. Um, so now I need to resize it to um, basically to be in the middle. So the way I do that is by clicking these two center things and that basically puts it in the middle. Now I may just drop that down to 200 so it's not like fully in your face, but like you can, you know, you can still kind of see it. Um, and that's where I want it. So that's basically the text layer. And I can basically just drag and drop that onto here. So yeah. And then I possibly want it to go out there. Um, or I could probably cut it there and then I can fade in and out the layer by basically right clicking when I have the arrow pointing towards the right or left and then right click apply default transition and that'll be a fade in story and then I just fade yeah. in as you can see so let's the get to editing off, the next it was a bit so let's get into editing the rest of the video now So now we've approached a we've approached the next video track and all I have to do is just apply the transition again. So what I might do is select both of the both of the uh, kind of files and then drag the property onto one of them and then that will automatically put it on both the tracks. So as you can see that's further on and then over here it's still in as that's a different file. But because I selected both the tracks, whatever I put onto one kind of file will go on to all the ones selected so that is really cool so now i've sorted that out so i should be good to continue editing So on this one where I want to go to my face cam kind of going to the full screen, I want to zoom it in um, and that's by using keyframes. So it's really simple to use keyframes. You don't say. <laughs> and then basically when I, after, after I say say, I want it to then go back to the original file. Don't say. It's probably about here. So I cut that and then it's really easy to do the keyframes. <laughs> now to make it easier, when I start saying you, that's where I want the keyframes to stop so it makes it easier. So I, this oh, this file will only be the keyframes and then that one will be the same. So let's go to the effect controls and let's go to the to the position properties. And I'm basically gonna click the, the uh, toggle animation um, or the stopwatch on both of these two things. And then I'm basically gonna click and drag them to the left of the thing. And then I'm gonna create where I, and then I'm gonna uh, reset these two, which means uh, that's when the, uh, the, that's when my face cam will be uh, on the screen. And what keyframes do is they automatically, I don't know how to describe it, like they automatically figure out a path for a certain object that you move in the frame. It automatically tries to figure out a path. If you want to be super specific, then you can always just create a bunch of keyframes, but it's fine <laughs> if you don't really need them to. So let's go to the end where I, where I see my properties, um, or I can just go on here and just click the reset thing. But, I mean, that'll work as fine. <laughs> so now the actual video looks like this. So let me go. You don't say. <laughs> and I think that works pretty well. So 
that's what I do when I do when I like zoom into my face cam like that. Obviously, the other type how I uh, go into my uh, face cam is just by cutting it and just that it will just appear instantly. I like sometimes I zoom into it you like that say. or like zoom out of it. Again here I'm going to do the exact same thing because I start driving and I want it to slowly zoom into my face. And I'm also going to um, undo the uh, my uh, audio file as well so I can make this go up to 5 decibels and then I can figure out the same thing. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with keyframes and it'll it'll come on slower as this file is all the where I've trimmed the uh, video file. It's longer so it will take more time to go into my face cam which is what I want. So let's go ahead and do that and then reset that and that will look like this. If it decides to I'm go, there we go. Okay, that was a bit laggy, let's, let's try that again. You know what? And I think that works fine, so time let's it continue. is. Okay, so now we're getting to the end of the video and all I want to do now is basically just have me on the screen for the entire time. So I'm going to do the exact same thing where I zoom into my face to then start the outro. So I need to decide on when I want that and when I want that to happen. Do that again if you guys want me to. So, so yeah, I, I'm going to leave. So, yeah.
So I'm gonna cut it there. I'm gonna leave this video here, so. And then I'm gonna cut it back, and I'm gonna cut it there as well. And then everything from this on will be just me on the screen. So let's do the keyframe thing again. There we go, just like so. There we go. And then this needs to be just me. Also, what I'll do is I'll cut here and make that just non-visible, as then we won't have the sound for the music. However, I might go ahead and make the sound so it does fade out, so, it's not, so it isn't just literally just cut out. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here, so... I hope you didn't I'm cutting it. that out. Sorry for that. <laughs> oh, video I'll leave here, it in, so... I hope you did enjoy it. Sorry for that. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already uh, so you never miss a video. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out. Okay, so now we've reached the ending and now we need to figure out how we do the outro. So, I'm going to cut my outro here temporarily. Um, might come back to that later. What I need to do now is... Actually, it, it might... No, I need it there, actually, thinking about it. Okay, actually, I need to cut uh, my outro there, actually, thinking about it. And then what we do from here is cut there. And then this and this can be deleted. And then basically, this is what the outro now looks like on the video. Sorry so, for that. <laughs> you, you'll be able to hear it in the background it. If you up. did leave a like, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already, uh, so you never miss a video. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out. And then what I might do here is actually up the volume a little bit to five. I didn't do this in the actual um, in the actual edit of my outro because I did the outro kind of like the same way as I did the intro. Because on the outro, I only made this picture. I didn't really make like it, it isn't really like a thing I made. Um, well, I did, but I didn't. But it's not like a it's not like an automatic kind of like video track. It's just I made the picture and I made that into a video basically. So it's everything custom made. I made it all, um, but like it didn't come as a video. If you see what I mean. Sorry for that. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already, uh, so you never miss a video. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out. And I think that works well. So, obviously, the, like, the music I use in the videos now are linked in the description. So, if you guys like the sound of it, then you can go ahead and, you know, um, uh, hear the songs. So, the songs that I use for the time lapse will be linked below. So I think that's everything I need to do. I mean, I do sometimes do like heavy edits on some videos, but I feel for this one, I don't need it. Uh, one thing I might actually change in the video, I can't remember where it is. I think it was here possibly. Um, well, we put a fire out that you made. What I might do here is cut this out, extend that, However, cut it to, I'm, I'm gonna redo it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to reset this, but then lower the scale a little bit. And you'll see what I'm doing this for. So I'll probably have it as 80, so it's still on the screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur this track. So then I'm the main focus and kind of like, you can still see the gameplay behind me, but it's kind of blurred. So the way I do that is by going to the effects and going to an effect called camera blur, which is here. Uh, this is all looking very weird. Here it is, camera blur, it's right here under video effects and blur and sharpen. So I just drag and drop that onto the video. And as you can see, it blurs the background, which I think looks quite nice. And then Did if we view behave? it. Um, well, we put a f yeah, Fire sometimes, out. sometimes it does that, but like when I'm going through the video, the video kind of like starts like jumping um, and all I have to do is just stop and start the video again. Did everyone again. behave? Um, well, we put a fire out that you made. 
And I think that works a lot better than what I actually had now looking at it. And I know that at the timeline, it's orange. Uh, this, this bit is like an orange yellow thing. And then this is red. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it still renders the video fine. And that is basically the end of this video, really. That's all I need to do. Um, so that's effectively how I edit my video. So I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, then leave a like. That would be awesome. And thank you very much. And also if you enjoyed this type of video. If you do want me to make more of these types of videos, I'm very open to the idea. Uh, sorry if this video was either really long or the perfect length that you guys want to see. So yeah, let me guys know if you want to see more of these and I will happily do them. Uh, so make sure you subscribe as well so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and... Peace out. One thing I should probably mention before I get into my outro, which is probably why you didn't see the outro here, is how long I actually record for. So I've been editing, well I've been recording for a total of about an hour, uh, so I, I probably spent about an hour editing that video, so yeah. It doesn't take too long to edit them, and then all I have to do at the end of this is just export it, then upload it to YouTube, which doesn't take too much. It'll probably take the length of, of the video to export, so it doesn't take long at all. Yeah, that is the, that is the end of the video now.